So I'm going to start this video like I started my last video, giving you a little bit of a before and after picture. This is what it looked like in my last video, and after digging around, this is what it looks like. I got a little tired of uh, digging. Yeah, nearly done, but I couldn't quite bring it to completion out of sheer boredom. Now, as you can see, I've added some lava, uh, reminiscent of what I did with my obsidian obelisk. And I'm putting glass over it like this, so nothing spawns like a giant pot light. Now, the system that I've set up involves five minecarts with chests in them. And four of those minecarts are absolutely packed with buckets. You can use more, more minecarts, you can use less minecarts, and you can actually go without the empty one. It just makes life a little easier. What's five pieces of iron and eight pieces of wood planks when you have 108 buckets? Anyway, the concept is simple. You fill your inventory with 27 buckets, leaving eight empty so you can switch them out quickly, and you collect your lava and it's rinse, recycle, repeat until you fill all of them. Now there's a couple of things about lava that you should know. There are actually two types of lava blocks, just like there are two types of water blocks. There are source blocks, and then there are flowing blocks. You can only collect lava from source blocks, but both source blocks and flowing blocks will kill you. So steer clear of all of it as best you can. When you find out that you can't actually grab any buckets of lava, go ahead and pull out a bucket of water. Water turns flowing blocks of lava into cobblestone, which can be easily removed, and you can go about collecting more lava source blocks. Now you risk making obsidian if the water comes in contact with source blocks, but if you do a thorough enough job of collecting the blocks, it won't be a problem. And while I recognize it is very possible to transport lava in your own inventory outside of a cart, it's a lot simpler for me because there are fewer things for me to keep track of just to put everything into a cart. And once you get to your location, you load back up. Again, you don't need to unload in the first place if you don't want to. And you do what you're going to do with your lava. Now, the longer you work with lava, the more you understand it. Still may confuse you, you may not agree with the choices it makes in its life, but you eventually come to appreciate it, and also appreciate how readily it will kill you. There are a couple of things about lava that everyone should know. When working with lava, always be above the lava. Never be next to the lava, and certainly never be under the lava, unless you genuinely can't help it. Also. Never jump directly over lava. Don't paint yourself into a corner, because your computer will find it particularly hilarious to freeze the screen, and the next thing you know, you're dead, and you've lost everything you've had in your inventory. So always walk around lava, and use the shift key, even when you think you don't need it, because it is always better safe than sorry when working with molten. And the final thing is, and I consider this a bit of a glitch because it's annoying as hell, always, 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 always keep something that is not lava in your quick bar. I usually keep it in the first slot, so I just hit the one key to select it. it makes sense to me to keep a pickaxe or a crowbar or something right here, because if you don't, anything with a lava bucket that involves right-clicking, even something as innocent as opening a chest, that lava is no longer in your hand, and it is out to destroy you and everything you love. So in this cart, where I had 27 stacks of cobblestone, I get less than a third of it back, and I have a mess to deal with. Even though I recollected the lava source block, it's all over the place. One technique that you might use with varying results is to fight lava with lava. So if you deposit it and quickly recollect it, 
the block upon which you put the lava and take it back will be free of it. And if you strategically remove lava from the lava flow, you can eventually get it to disappear. Hello, Fraps, where did you, oh, there you are. No, no, there, over here. Come on, Fraps. Come on. Come on, Fraps. Come on. Hi, Fraps. Hi, Fraps. How are you, Fraps? Hi, Fraps.